What is up, boys? Welcome back to some more CFA. I'm diving in today. We have Hamza Pakradini. Pakradini. What? Them guys. There's so many of them in this fucking series. There's another one there. Hamza taking on Melvin Sharp. And you might remember him from his UFC days. He's got a cock on his chest. And if he wins, I have to make the fucking chicken noise. So I'm hoping Hamza sleeps him, to be honest. But there we go. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Looking forward to this. I can't remember the records for either of these guys. I'm going to say Hamza's like 3-0, and maybe. I guess that's kind of how we do it uh, with CFA. And then UFC Universe, we give him a little bit more because it's the UFC. Uh, but we're going to say, yeah, Hamza's 3-0. and I do believe Melvin Sharp is like 1-3, and maybe. Something like that. Here we go. Let's see. So far, it's been pretty interesting. Hamza don't look he's got much range so far. Big knee, though, Hamza. Melvin looks like a fucking middleweight. Jesus Christ. Lekker there for Melvin. Combinations with Hamza. Let's go. Is this one, this Parker Dooney is Parker Dooney. I don't know how you say it, but yeah. Hamza is a boxer. He is not a wrestler, so it's going to be interesting to see. Like, of course, Kaigar is probably one of the best jiu-jitsu guys we've ever seen. <clears throat> and then uh, Ojiya as well. Very good. Both guys in the UFC now. Big leg kick. Pretty even though. I feel like Melvin's doing a good job of backing up. And we're seeing um Oh, good, good combination there from Sharp. I hope you don't win this, bro. Just so I ain't gotta make that chicken noise. But I'll do it, fuck it. Big shot. Good elbow there. The dog fight so far. No one really getting too bothered by the shots coming back at him. I like the way Hamza puts things together. Oh, and he's dropped him. Melvin Sharp in trouble. Oh, and he shoots. Hamza. Nice denial there. Very good denial. Couple kicks. Oh, good body shot. Oh, and he's down. Okay. All righty. Interesting so far. Melvin Sharp out of this fight and he could be finished there. Please finish him, Hamza. I don't want to make I'll make the chicken noise anyway, I don't give a fuck. Wrap the deer <laughs> Hamza gets it done. Thank fuck. I still made it anyway, but yeah, there you go, boys. I know you wanted to hear that. Hamza over, beautiful finish. Good debut. Moving on, we've got Bravisius taking on. I don't even fucking know. But it's gonna be interesting. Let's go. <laughs> Up next, we have Bruno taking on Bravisius. The bug v Bruno Mars. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, let's see what happens. Very, very excited. Bruno is... I'm just trying to find the uh, the record. Bruno, I think, is 3-2. and two. That's interesting. And then Bravisius, I believe, is 5-5. Five and five. So, again, very, very interesting records. Bruno came up very, very short in his last one. Um, in the fight, I did think he was going to win... And then the first fight with him, man, was an absolute brawl. I'm expecting that again tonight. Bravisius has a style change, and he looks like an animal. Let's see. Bravisius now. Is this the return of Bravisius? I'd love to see it, honestly. It'd be so cool to see. One of these guys have got to win, and that's what's crazy about this. Bruno's 3-2, and two, and uh, I believe Bravisius... Yeah, Bravisius is 5-5, five and five, so we're going to see what happens. Excited for this fight. Ooh, oh, I've never seen a fat guy do that. Can't even lie. Bravisius keeping it simple with the boxing. Nice uppercut there. He's timing it pretty nicely. Little shots there. From Bravisius, uh, I can't even speak. Bugisius, that should be his name. Nice checks there from Bravisius. It ain't over yet. Left hand. That's some nice boxing with these guys, man. Really, really nice. Switch kick from Bruno. 
Oh, nice time, Pike. You get a front kick after that. Jesus Christ. Bravicius in trouble. Can Bruno finish it? Very close, but no cigar. Insane. Bruno going to take the back. Good hammer fist there. Here we go, a submission attempt. Pretty interesting. I would have never thought this, to be honest. But there you go. It looks like they're going to get out. Imagine Bravicius locked that in there. That'd be fucking wild. It looks like he's going to get out. But still, decent attempt. Can't lie. Interesting. Bruno now ripping some shots. Mad. Absolutely mad. Ducking round there. Bravicius in trouble. He's down. Back up though. It's a shame because Bravicius ain't looked too bad in this fight. It would be mad to see him come back and land something. He can though. He can. Bruno is hitable. Look at these shots though. This man's a wild man. How's he fucking spinning like this? Okay. Body shot there for Bruno. Bravicius just seems a little bit far away. And he's been clipped again. Man. Good round. Good round for Bruno. Bravicius started the fight very well, but Bruno very changed uh, very quickly changed the course of that fight with them kicks. Bravicius needs to get in on the inside. He's to be a mad aggressive and just get out the way of those kicks. Good leg kick there. I'd like to see him get in and box it. There you go. Make it ugly for him. The closer he is, the, the less talk those kicks are going to have on the dome or whatever. He's just got to watch the hands of Bruno then. And he's like a T-Rex anyway. He probably can't even land straight toe-to-toe. -to -toe, so It's just the kicks from Bruno that are a problem, to be honest. We've seen Bravicius start to land. He's having success. He's kind of like listening <laughs> to what we're saying. As he comes forward, he's got to keep pushing forward, though. Bruno can't hit anything. <laughs> he's too small. It's those legs that are a problem. And there's another kick there. Bravicius is falling right into this trap and playing in that range where Bruno can land a high kick or a spinning kick of some sort. There's a knee stop there for both guys. I think it was anyway. Bravicius should have fell through with that hook there. That would have been nice. He's doing a lot of fainting. Oh, man. Oh, it was so close to landing that high kick. But Bruno gets his first win in the CFA. That's annoying because Bravicius looked good. I'm not going to cut him. I believe there's there's still chance for growth there for Bravicius. Ivan, if you want him cut, brother, let me know. But I think I think he can keep going after that. That was a good performance. Ish, anyway. Not near the end because this motherfucker just... This marshmallow-looking ass got it done. Up next, we've got Fraser Hunt Stewart taking on Roger Rose. Roger Rose is 3 0. Fraser Hunt Stewart is 4 0. So here we go. Let's dive in. We've got Fraser in the red corner. And Roger Rose there in the blue. Here we go. Two very interesting boxers and kickboxers. Going to be a striking heavy matchup. And already, Roger Rose lands something clean. Faking the glove touch there. Damn. Fraser, though, still not recovered from that. And I don't blame him. That was a cheap shot. Switch kick in there from Roger. And oh, that could be all over. Cheap shot there, but it landed. Roger Rose with some beautiful combinations. And again. Oh, but Frazier comes back. Let's see. He landed clean there. He cracked him. Okay. Frazier ain't out of this fight, although getting shinned very early. Big elbow. Oh, big elbow from Frazier. This is mad. Oh, fell into a takedown there. That's not great. Man, both of these guys can shut the lights out. It's insane. Madness. Absolute madness. Okay. 
Front kick there. Oh, and Raja Rose lands again, and down goes Frazier. And he could be over. If he'd have dived in a little bit sooner, that would have been fight over. And Raja Rose there, still attacking the chin. Oh my god, that might be the first time ever we have seen an AI just attack the chin and only the chin. Frazier turns it over. I do feel like he is the better grappler. Oh, that's over. That's over bad as well. He dropped it bad. Raja Rose. How is Frazier still in this fight? What a fucking survival though, man. Mad, mad lads. Raja is hitting with absolutely everything. And Frazier's still going. Somehow. Some way. <laughs> it was like a bad start for Frazier. He got clipped with that like glove touch. Fucking high kick there. And it's just been like downhill since. Could see a heel turn here for Raja though. After sneaking that shot in. Crafty, crafty dude, man. Frazier comes back and hurts the leg there, Raja. This ain't a bad fight. I feel like Frazier could get back in this. He's just got to watch them kicks, man. Tries to rip a body kick. Oh, that's over. Raja Rose with a beautiful high kick. Gets the job done. Lovely finish. Although a bit dirty, lovely finish. When we think of barn burners, this one comes into mind. Jordan Walker taking on Magnus Larson. Jordan Walker 9 and 5, Magnus 8 and 4. Similar kind of records. Jordan got one more win and one more loss. There's Jordan there in the red, and there's Magnus Larson there in the blue. Here we go. Let's get it, boys. The size of Walker is massive, bro. Like, he is a problem for anybody. He's kind of got wins over guys that are very, very good just because he's a big dude. And he can really, really, like, just take that range away and land stuff when you can't even think about landing. We see it in the Kerbox fight where, you know, Kerbox is very good and he's fought for titles. He's now in the UFC. But Walker got a win over him just because he's just so fucking rangy. He's huge, man. Dude's a giant. You can see here as well. Magnus just a little bit smaller. Magnus ain't a small dude either. But Walker's a damn giant. Good jab there. Jordan Walker. I don't know who wins this. I feel like Magnus has the better boxing. But Walker can just make this a scrap kind of thing, you know? You never know. You never know. Definitely going to be one of these fights where it can go either way and you're going to be like, oh shit, like, <laughs> what's going on? So far though, not a lot landing there, both just kind of pushing. But not much getting through and looking like it could be a war. Good shot there from Magnus. Counter shot, here we go. Now they're opening up. The traded shots, let's just stand toe to toe and bang. Get them, boys. Walker could have a good straight leg kick as well. This is going to be a mad fight. I feel like this could be fight tonight. Oh, Walker gets stunned there. Beautiful body kick for Magnus. Don't really throw him too much, but that one landed. Couple shots there. So, fights left to come on the card. We have, real quick, Arlo and Mamed. McCarthy and Andrew Lee and Robert Graves and Trey Sean Jackson for the lightweight title. Insane. Big uppercut. Big shots. Oh. Uppercut there for Magnus. Big shot. Two shots landed here for both men. Looking like a good fight so far. Big elbow for Magnus. Couple body shots. Walker there ripping the combo. Little combination. Nice body shot again there for Magnus. He's chinned him. Walker looking wobbly. Got to mention this is the welterweight debut for Magnus Larson, so. Interesting. I think Magnus has won this round. 
that size difference, it matters early on, but then Walker was giving up a lot of range there and shots that he should definitely have had his hands up in. I see that round two, the three, coming up. Double jab there. Larson clipped him again. But Walker has recovered. Combo there for Walker. Most of it was blocked except the leg kick. Couple shots there. Nice knee. Good timing on that leg kick. He's there as well. Oh, and Walker chins him. And Larson has recovered now. Crazy fight. Fight of the night so far, no doubt about it. Bit of war. Back down there. Oh, Jordan Walker with a beautiful finish. And that could be KO of the night as well. How the hell did that happen? Jordan Walker. Unbelievable. Down and out almost. And comes back with a spinning ill kick finish. Man. What a knockout. Mamed v Arlo up next. Going to be very, very interesting. Mamed there is, I believe, yeah, 3 0. Arlo is 4 0. Let's see what happens, boys. We've got Mamed here in the red corner. Taking on Arlo in the blue. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Going to be a fun one. If Mamed gets a hold of Arlo, it is all over. But if Arlo can keep his distance and use his range and his boxing, we're in for a good one. See what happens. Man, there, what the fuck was that? I like Ilo's chances at taking out Mamed, but I don't know how that goes. He's popping him. Let's see. Oh, early on. Now, Mamed is a Charles Oliveira style. We've changed Arlo's. Oh, and Imanari. Oh, that's cool. And let's see. Arlo, can he get out? It is very early. Arlo's got a lot of stamina. Mamet's sneaking in there, though. It looks like Arlo's going to get out. But this is the problem. They are on the they are on the ground. And this is where I feel like Arlo could fall short. Oh, no. Stand up, stand up. Please just stand up. Don't transition. Stand up, brother. Please. Come on, boy. Stand up. What are you doing, Arlo? Just stand. Oh, you tit. Just stand up, brother. Nah, that's over. That's over. I'm telling you now, Mamed's reversing this. Yeah, so Mamed is Charles Oliveira, and Arlo is... I changed him to Peter Yan, so I'm going to see. See what happens. So far, Mamed not doing a lot. If he lets Arlo up, he's going for a submission here. This could be dangerous. Could be very, very dangerous. Just like Arlo might get out, though. Okay, interesting. I mean, he didn't really set it up with anything or nothing like that. Arlo out again. Survivability. Can he get out? Oh, I was hoping he'd get out and pop his head out and get around the back and then stand up. Because all the while this is on the canvas, this is Mamed's game, bro. This is over. That's, that's in the win. He's, he's going to, yeah. <laughs> This could be a Mamed finish here, I reckon. I don't know. I would count out Arlo, though. Arlo's pretty nice with it. Another submission. And Mamed's starting to get even now with this. But Arlo, I don't know. He ain't doing too bad on these defenses. But it looks like Mamed is starting to get there with this one. You know, he's breaking down a little bit. Tiring him out with the defenses. Arlo, though. That is a very good choke as well. Arlo has managed to survive the first round with Mamed, I think. He's got 20 seconds, and it has been all Mamed this round. Just suffocating him. Nice reversal again. And Arlo managing to get up, but just too late on the timer there. That was definitely a Mamed round. The submission attempts to take down the grappling. Insane how Arlo even survived, but round two coming up. Here we go. One, two. Mamed, if I was Mamed, just shoot. But the thing is, Charles Oliveira likes to strike a little bit as well, so that could play to Mamed. Uh, Mamed. That could play to Arlo's advantage. We will see. 
some shots in there. You can see Arlo. Oh! Don't dive in, Arlo. <laughs> Let him just do some... No, Arlo, please. Okay, this is... Oh, oh maybe not. Okay. Nice kick there. We need to see Arlo make the most of this. How is he still standing? Very lucky there. Body kick there. Man. If, if it stays like this, Arlo could get it done. But he can't let Mamed grab a hold of him. Nice. Come on. Come on. I like Mamed, but I'm rooting for my boy. <laughs> Although I wouldn't mind seeing Mamed win, to be fair. Big body shot. Superman. That's what we need. We need more creative shit. Come on, Arlo. Good left hand. Decent. Big knee there for Mamed. And the Minaris. Don't die, you fucking idiot. You idiot, Arlo. Why did you do that? Mamed stat. Nah, Mamed, you're making an error there, brother. I mean, if you want to keep it standing, that's chill for me because I feel like our boy's going to get it done. Big elbow there for Arlo. And again, rocks him. Drops him, finish him. No, no, why are you waiting? Get all over him, bro. This man's a beast. Okay. Raw emotion is coming out. I <laughs> might sound a bit biased. <laughs> He's got him. Uh, it's only going to be a matter of time for one of these lands. I'm telling you. Let's see what happens. Get the legs out from under him. Could be going to the third. If it stays standing, Arlo could get the finish here. Flattens him out. Go on, Arlo. Get it, brother. And then he just stares at him. Looks him in the eyes like it's a romantic lovemaking session and doesn't finish the fight. What are you doing, Arlo? Mamet here. Locking in a sub. And this one looks a bit closer. Oh, fuck. He got nine seconds. We're okay. We're okay. Going to the third, boys. Going to the third. God damn. If that submission locked in, I'm not too sure we've seen that before. Was that a twister? What was that? I have to ask Drew. Shout out to Drew, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Round three. This tough, tough son of a bitch. Big uppercut. I thought Mamed was just going to get this one done, to be fair. Oh, it's done really well. That Pete Yan style. Pretty damn nice. Mamad's done a good job, though, of trying to get this fight to the ground. But I would say if it ended now, again, Arlo decision. No, don't die. Arlo, come on, bro. It's too early in the round to be doing this shit. Way too early. Arlo. Oh, That's over. That, I think that might... Oh, no, he got a defender strike in. Let's see. Chained it though, but Arlo's way too quick for that. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. You can't play with this man on the ground, he's too good. I don't think Arlo's going to be as good as KL, I can't even lie, but I'm happy with this Peter Yan style, to be honest. Okay. Man, we, we've been in for a little bit of a snooze fest here, but is what it is. I do think Arlo can win this though. He can win this. He's done a good job surviving. I'm worried though. I'm worried he's going to lock something in. Arlo's just... You know, he ain't as good as some of these other boys. Mamed going for more ground and I think that's a good idea to be fair. He's gotten hurt bad there. Tough, tough old fight. Mamed again. And Arlo, I don't get how this is happening. Oh, it's close though. He can chain that and get heads. This could be over. 
We've seen them like this before and then they just creep up. This looks very, very um, disgusting. But yeah, Arlo's out again. Fuck, man. I don't know how. And he kept it standing, you fucking lad. Get up. Oh, why did that not do no damage? Don't want to stand with Arlo. But we've only got 20 seconds left. This is going to a decision. Madness. Absolute madness. I think, anyway. Unless Arlo gets a finish. I can't see Mamed locking in something now. There's 20 seconds left. Oh. He does get the takedown. Wears him down finally, but it is not enough. I don't know who's going to win this. He's driven the submission out of desperation. We're going to the judges. I think for the first time in CFA history, we are going to the judges. I might be wrong, but let's see. I want to see how the judges see that, because that is a very... Oh, whoa, they give it to Arlo. Well, I guess the knockdowns and health events did have a big sway in that fight, but that was insane, boys. Let's get into the next one anyway. Let's rock and roll. Mad fight. McCarthy, the Andrew Lee up next. McCarthy is 4-3. and three. Andrew Lee, 2-0. and oh. Both of these guys, very, very good knockout artists. I cannot wait to see how this one goes. Here we go. McCarthy down the red. Andrew Lee in the blue. I'm expecting violence for this one. Oh, counter with a the kick there. That was nasty. Andrew Lee's nasty, man. you got to watch him. Don't count McCarthy out either, bro. Jeez. Okay. Big leg kick there. He's hurt him, I think. Yeah, he's wobbled him. Anyone can win this fight. This fight is mad. Look at the shit they're putting together. Oh, and down goes Lee. McCarthy's going to follow him down on the ground, but I don't think he's going to be able to finish him. Madness. Absolute madness. Andrew Lee, I don't know if he's going for it. I don't know if he's going for a guillotine there. I was about to say. McCarthy. Fighting very well. Andrew Lee there. Get some shots. Shots there. Overhand drops me again. Somehow we're still surviving this, man. That's crazy. Carthy's looking good. Okay. Oh, every shot now. Every damn shot. Ain't over yet, though. How are we grappling this, boys? Get up. I don't know, though. McCarthy. Really hurting bad there as well. I feel like one shot from either of these guys can end it, but I do feel like McCarthy's doing more damage to the chin. So when they do stand, and he lands a big shot, it's over, I think. I've been wrong before, though. Andrew Lee pulling off some mad shot. That's over. That's over. That could be all over. Flattens him out. And McCarthy gets it done. Kills another hype train. Damn. And then the main event. Robert Graves, the champion, taking on Trey Sean Jackson. Robert Graves, 11 and 3. Trey Sean Jackson, 9 and 1. Here we go, boys. Let's dive in. Robert Graves in the red corner. The current CFA lightweight champion. Taking on Trey Sean Jackson. Let's see how this goes, man. I don't know how this one's going to go. I feel like it could be a war. And then I feel like it could be something else. I don't know. Oh. Now goes Jackson. Early on, but these rock graves to the body as well. Spinning kick. Oh, what the fuck is going on? I 
like that spinning kick from Jackson. Oh, the spinning back fist. I fought for one second there. That was fucking beautiful and amazing. But I thought that front kick was going to rock Graves. And then he spins round, misses the kick, and then back fists him. That was like, what? That's KO the night. no doubt about that. But that is it for today's video, boys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed it, hit the like button. Comment and subscribe. And I will see you for more CFA next time. Stelson boys, have a great day. I'll see you all again in the next video.